Well, new Boise State head football coach Andy Avalos got the chance to welcome a couple of new members to the brotherhood today. I will say this, though. National Signing Day wasn't as busy as usual for the Broncos. As we reported last night, Eagle High standout Ben Ford recently accepted a scholarship offer to play for his hometown team. Ford originally committed to play baseball at the University of Washington. Since then, he followed his heart, decommitted from UW, bet on his own ability, went to work, and now he gets to play football at his dream school. Ford played quarterback at Eagle and tore up the 5 ASIC. He'll be a wide receiver at Boise State, though, and offer some in-state blood. The young men that have come from the state of Idaho and entered into this program have built, helped build this tradition. And they're, they're a huge, huge factor of, of what we've been able to do here at Boise State over the course of many years. And we will continue to, to find those young men that uh, want to represent, obviously, Boise State and represent their state. In addition to Ford, the Broncos also added Cyrus Habibi Likio today. The transfer from Oregon, where Avalos spent the last two years, totaled up 21 touchdowns and was a red zone force for the Ducks. What can he offer Boise State? I caught up with offensive coordinator Tim Plow to find out. What does Cyrus Habibi Likio add to the stable, as it's known at Boise State? That guy was, was pretty darn successful down inside the red zone at, at Oregon. First of all, Cyrus, if you get a chance to talk to him, he is a special, special dude. I mean, this guy is a leader to the core. And I think the first time we spoke to him, once he got in the portal, it was like, hey, I know this guy's talented, but man, this guy's going to bring a lot to the brotherhood. Like, this guy's going to bring a lot to our environment. Our thing with him was like, hey, we've got some injuries in the running back room. We need some veteran presence. You know, I think you're going to get a chance to compete and get some touches here. And, you know, his story was he really uh, almost came to Boise out of high school. So I think um, he felt like, man, maybe he should have done that from the jump. So it just worked out really well. Couldn't be more happy to have him. That was, that was the biggest moment for us offensively recruiting the last few weeks was when we found out he was coming. Finally, we found out today that eight seniors off last year's squad will return to Boise State again next fall. Moving from left to right, that includes Octavius Evans, Keikala Kaniho, Brock Miller, Uzo Usuji, Jake Stetz, C.T. Thomas, Joel Velasquez, and Riley Wimpy. Due to COVID-19, the NCA relaxed their eligibility rules. Essentially, last fall did not count towards eligibility. We'll have more on National Signing Day tonight at 10. The news at 6 will be right back.